What's up everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Now in today's video, I wanna cover a topic that has a lot of new growers very concerned and even stops tenured growers in their tracks. And that is what to do when you get a damaged vine on your Nepenthes. Now there's a few different ways that this can happen, uh, all of which can be scary to people who don't really know what that means or what that, that uh, potentially could mean for the future of the plant. I hope today's video will help clear up some of those fears, some of those frustrations, and help give some clarity on what to do when and if this happens to you. All that and more coming your way. So the first thing we're gonna cover is what happens if your vine cracks or breaks a little bit when you are moving it or trying to position it. Now that's So the first plant we're gonna look at is Thorillii by Aristolochioides, and I have not taken care of this plant, unfortunately, and it has dried out one too many times, and that's why you see this browning here on the stem. But this is what we're talking about today. But I did wanna go ahead and clarify that if you see this browning on your Nepenthes, that is a completely normal process. Um, as the uh, Nepenthes vine grows, it will start to turn brown because it is a quasi woody vine. Uh, in this case, you'll see that it did so during, uh, as a result of a dry period, uh, it turned brown, but the growth point is still very well intact. What I wanna talk about today is this little hairline fracture here. So I was trying to move this vine around so I could get it to grow on this rack here and it snapped. And so I was very concerned. Now the vine itself isn't completely broken in half, but this happened about uh, a little over a week ago. And I wanted to see what would happen. I had a good hunch what would happen, but I wanted to be able to document that for you. And so what we have here is a break. Now you'll notice what the plant has done. The plant has started to heal itself. And if you'll look at the growth uh, point, it is still very green and healthy. And so, Nepenthes do have the ability to continue to grow even if their growth uh, or their main vine breaks in a number of different ways, but um, not just through nodes, which we'll talk about in a minute, but it will also be able to repair itself a little bit as long as the break isn't all the way through or uh, too aggressive. And in this case, it's starting to heal itself and it is starting to, or it's continuing to vine and the main growth point is not dead. So if you see something like that, no need to try to repair it in any way, shape or form. It will go ahead and heal itself and continue to grow. Now, let's talk about what happens if this break goes all the way through. Now what? What we're gonna look at here is uh, Nepenthes maxima wavy leaf. Now this one has not broke. I, don't, I do have one plant that the main growth vine broke on but uh, it has now grown back so much you wouldn't be able to tell. But this will suffice and show you exactly what I'm talking about. When Nepenthes grow, they produce these little tiny bumps at the very top of each growth, uh, each leaf, and that is called a node. And the node, it has the potential to become an offshoot of your Nepenthes. Now, if you'll look right here, uh, let's see if I can get it to focus. See that little tiny node right above the where that leaf joins the main stem? That is a node and it's actually starting to grow a new offshoot. And so what happens if, let's say this broke right here. If it breaks above that node, all you'd wanna do is, let's say it broke all the way through, is just get, get the cut clean where you could trim it. Um, or if it's a clean cut, you can go ahead and leave it. And what will happen is that node will begin to develop and the plant will send a signal saying, hey, now we gotta grow a new uh, offshoot of the vine and your vine will grow from there. So if this was to break off right there, a lot of people get uh, scared, they get frustrated. Uh, it will take a little bit of time, but that node will produce. Now, if your vine is longer than this and you've got multiple nodes, if it does break off, you can always create cuttings and we'll cover that in another video, but then that way you actually kind of multiply as long as the cutting strikes, you can multiply your collection and take that frown and turn it upside down, if you will. So uh, if your main vine breaks, it can be scary, but just know that the next leaf down more than likely will have a node, whether you can see it this clear or not, and that node will then begin to activate and grow a new vine. It's a little hard to tell, but this is that plant. If you look at my old videos that the main growth point broke on. Now, do you see down there in the center of your screen how there's two different stems coming up? That was the result, let me bring it back. That was the result of this plant's main growth point breaking off. And that now that secondary vine uh, was a node 
just like I showed you in the last section of this video that activated and grew. Now, this main one that you see in here is also a secondary node. So uh, the main vine on this broke a long time ago, but both of these now are those nodes that have activated and it has created an entirely new uh, vining system. It actually created three in total. It looks like two really are the dominant growers, but that's the cool thing about Nepenthes is they have that activation uh, possibility on each leaf. Uh, and if you look over here, I just noticed it. See that little bump right there? This is Diariana. That is a node. So if this growth point was to break off right here, or the vine was to break off right here, that would become a new uh, vine. Now, let's talk about if the growth point doesn't break, but the vine around it does, then what do you do? What I have here is my Brutus, unfortunately. And if you can see down there, there was a little bit of browning that was caused due to drying out. So I was trying to inspect the main growth point to make sure everything was okay, there, there was no fungus, and the leaf broke off. Now, to understand, it's hard to get it in focus, but to understand how Nepenthes grow, they have a main growth uh, uh, point that grows up through the middle and leaves will unfurl around that. And I got lucky here in a sense that when the leaf broke off, if I can get it to focus, I'll show you. See that little tiny uh, point sticking out? That is the new growth point. So there's nothing I need to do here. Let me turn around the camera and tell you why. As you saw in that last section, the leaf broke off, but that little, uh, points, if you will, growing out is the growth point. So in that case, there's nothing that needs to be done. What will happen is that leaf will just be a little blip and it will grow a new leaf and continue the vine. That's the way these things are structured. It's almost like a ginger plant in a way where the main growth grows to the middle. It's not necessarily spiraling, but it grows a point through the middle. The leaves unfurl around it and they open up. A lot of times the leaves will come out a different color like a red and people freak out about that that is just the newness of that leaf and as it hardens off it will turn to the color that the leaf is supposed to be so if you do see that and it happens to break off you're okay now the biggest thing to remember when these things happen it will slow your plant down but it will not kill your plant the plant will still th survive and over time it will continue to grow but don't be discouraged if you see it take time it's going to take time for that plant to get over the stress of it breaking and to be able to coordinate everything to create that new growth point. Now, let's talk about what happens if the vine breaks off completely at the media base. What does that mean and can it be saved? So what I have here is a Ventricosa by Rob Cantlia. Now this plant did not break at the base. I don't have one like that, but what I do have is something that's applicable and it's the same type of thing here. This plant, for all intents and purposes, was dead. And I was getting ready to throw it out and the media fell off and I noticed that there was a basil that was growing off the main vine underneath the media. So that happens just the same if you have a break where there is no node. So if you have a smaller plant and it breaks off and you freak out because there's no node, don't lose hope. It's not always gonna be the case, but more often than not, there is a node that you can't see that is growing below the soil surface that will help. And what you wanna do is repot it, or if it's already in good media, just pull the media away from the base so it exposes that node to light. And what you'll end up happening is you'll start getting all these uh, growth points. So this is actually three basils that grew off the main vine that have come back and brought this plant back to life. The other thing to note is you may not see the nodes all the time. Some species or some hybrids have them more pronounced than others, but I assure you they are there and they that's where they regenerate new growth. So some like the Maxima wavy leaf I showed you had very pronounced nodules, so it was very easy to see. Uh, and so that gives you a lot of uh, the feel goods. Now there might be some that you don't see at all and you think, oh man, this thing does not have a node. If it breaks, I'm in trouble. Uh, rest assured, it will produce an offshoot. Not every example is an acute situation, like a major break. Sometimes it's something more sinister than that, like if you get the dreaded stem rot. Now, I don't have a plant to show you, but I can walk you through what to do if you do see stem rot. I also have a video that I created earlier on in this channel that deals with that topic. 
Stem rot is where the stem of the plant starts to turn black. And rest assured that is a death sentence for your plant unless you act fast. You don't have a lot of time once you see that, only a matter of days. But what you can do, and this is hard to get over mentally, is find where the stem rot ends on the vine and cut underneath it. Now, just like I said in the previous uh, section of this video, the Nepenthes grows up from the middle, and what you wanna do is when you cut it, the cross section will almost look like a Russian uh, nesting doll where it'll have the main vine and then you'll see another uh, smaller vine in the middle. That smaller vine in the middle is the growth point. You wanna keep cutting down until you no longer see black on those um, two vines, if you will. That is where the stem rot has ended and the bacteria has been has not reached yet. And so you wanna cut underneath that to have your some fresh growth. And what will end up happening is over time, it will either activate a new node or it may even grow up from the middle and uh, because you still have that main growth point intact. So even if you get the dreaded stem rot, there is still a good chance that you can save your plant. You just have to act fast and you have to get over the, psycho the psychological uh, disappointment of, man, I've got to cut this main vine because some of them can be very big and a lot of work. Now, the other cool thing is if you do have a larger vine and the stem rot has only occurred on certain sections is cut underneath it where there's no more black and then cut above it where there's no more black if possible. And now you have cuttings. Because Nepenthes, for the most part, when they're small, only have one vine, it can cause a lot of fear when that vine breaks. It kind of feels like an all or nothing zero sum game where you think the vine is broken, now the plant is ruined. And that is not the case. I cannot tell you how many people have stressed unnecessarily or even thrown their plants out thinking that it was all over because the main vine broke. Nepenthes are survivors, just like all plants, their whole uh, objective is to survive. And so they have backup mechanisms like those nodes that ensure that if something breaks, that they're able to continue to survive. I hope that this video has helped clear up a lot of fears. And if this has happened to you, I hope that this helps. But if it hasn't happened to you yet and you collect long enough, there's a good chance it will happen. As you move things around, they will break. Hopefully this helps clear up some of that and you can visit this video now and maybe le later when that does happen to help refresh on what to do. As always, I hope, hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. I'll see you soon.